Previously on the Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky SC. All right, let's get this container back down then. We're still in it! Oh, fuck, sorry. And now back to rapidly continuing the series. Hello, Sneaker B. Back with some more with the Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky SC. That's right, I'm back. Sorry, I know I, I know I vanished for a few days. If you watched my last metaphor video, you'll know why my voice was going. It's the uh, same thing that happens seemingly every year between summer and autumn and then between uh, winter and spring where uh, I don't know if it's the mold or something in the air or whatever, but I just get it's, it's either allergies or some seasonal thing that just gets me sick and my chest gets full of crap and then my voice just goes. But I'm always kind of out for like a few days after that because I just can't talk, let alone do any female voices. But I think I've gotten to the point where I'm at least well enough to uh, finally, uh, at least at the very least, pull off my female voices again. That's like the, that's the gauge here, right? I'll literally be like walking around my house, just like trying to do Estelle's voice to see if I can actually like, like do the next Trails episode. And I think I got to that point. I've got a big stick. I, I could do it. I did it. Look, but yeah, I suppose I could have tried to record last episode, last few episodes and, you know, just bumble my way through with an absolutely wrecked voice, but uh, I'm enjoying this game too much. I don't want to like mar the let's play with uh, a really shitty sounding Nico, especially when I'm like voicing all the characters here. I'm already kind of like upset with my last metaphor episode for being sounding so bad. I, that just happened to hit me like right in the middle of it, so I was unprepared. I thought I could push past it, but by the end of the episode, I was pretty, I sounded pretty terrible. But I'm back to it now. I'd say probably like 90% better. I may still hear a little, a little, a uh, little crunchiness, but it, it'll have to do. But anyway, when we last left off, uh, you know, it's just another normal uh, journey through a town here. We did another Blue Blanc side quest. We got some more fucking ingredients. Just your normal basic sh Oh my God, is that a fucking dragon? Hey guys, have you missed me? By the way, I'm Luve. I'm this game's Sephiroth. Cut! Die, all of you! Bah! Yeah, it's got a giant fire-breathing dragon now. And Agate's big, mad! So he runs down to the mine, has a cool anime fight with him. But unfortunately, Luve tells him he will never beat him. Not when he's got his heart so full of hate, self-hate, it weighs him down. And so he just kind of like pieces out. And then the army shows up and Ag gets real pissed off at Morgan for some reason and then he passes out. And it turns out, well, it's because his sister Misha is dead. Oh no, what a shocker. Absolutely nobody saw that coming. Not even that time in the, or one of the early episodes where I literally read the gravestone that had Misha's name on it. But to be fair, myself, all right, to be fair, that was literally like before I even knew anything about Agate, so. But a cool little, uh, little thing you could notice, apparently, if you read that, if you read the Tombstone Revenue in like FC earlier, yeah, you'd learn that Misha was dead because her name was on there. But it did lead to a sweet scene between Agate and Tita, who basically defended his own honor from himself and acted like the little sister that, that Agate lost. It was so cute, fuck. This game could be so fucking wholesome, it's insane. Like, it's so goddamn adorable. I, I really gotta say that I feel like uh, Trails has really handled their child characters really, like, well, you know? Like, done in a relatively believable way with, like, around their age group. Because, like, I like how Tita was saying that she didn't understand, like, a lot of what he was saying. Because a lot of what he's saying is kind of... It is it is pretty, like, hard for someone her age to probably fully grasp that kind of emotion and that loss and the, his, like, feelings of, like, self-hatred, right? Because life is simpler when you're a kid, you know? that A lot of that's that, that doubt and stuff that doesn't really creep into you. Or even, even if it does, you don't understand those feelings, right? Just like how you can't maybe understand an attraction to a boy or a girl, you know? Why you like someone, why you want to be friends with someone, you just are, you know? It's like... Kids can't necessarily put to reason why they feel the things they do. So I don't know, it was just really cute. I really love the dynamic between them. It's really nice seeing too all these characters in this game getting moments, you know? We definitely got some good Shira and Agate. They were like, they're kind of like the stars of this game, honestly, even aside from Estelle. I mean, everyone else is getting stuff too, but like, I mean, we literally have had, I had two chapters here, essentially where you you're choosing between the two of them and then eventually being forced to have one or the other. I like it. But anyway, last episode, uh, Charles X. Flair said, uh, Nico, uh, Agate's sister's dead. You must be an idiot not to see that coming. Flashbacks to the first game. Nico B. and Estelle. Hello, purple hair princess. Have you seen my friend Chloe? She looks just like you. Princess. Estelle, it's me, Chloe. It's so good to see you again. <laughs> Nico B. and Estelle. What? <laughs> listen. Listen, okay? Shut up. <laughs> A very solid reason behind that, and the reason is you shut your fucking face. 
I'd still say the Misha one, Misha one was more obvious than this than that one was. I mean, don't get me wrong. That one was still pretty obvious, and like in hindsight, yes, it's pretty damn obvious, and the game hints at it a lot. But I feel like the Misha one really was like, man, they like just because. I, I thought we were going to find out about that last game, dude, with how much they were already sort of like hinting at it. I was surprised that we like we literally hinted at it all last game with Agate. And then we get in this game, then we hinting at it all this game with Agate. Anytime a sister is brought up. And then finally, like, like past halfway through this game, we finally get to that point where they acknowledge it. And like you said, you can even discover it on a tombstone, which I did. I actually read that in like the first, like, I think it was like episode six or something. But like I said, it was before I knew really Agate or his sister or anything. Granted, you might have been able to go look at it when you still had Agate around or or after you learned about it, which may, well, no, no, because you're, lo you're kind of locked to areas. I don't know. No, actually, it probably wouldn't have that. It's only on a repeat playthrough, though, right? That you would have gotten that answer or having remembered that, which I mean, I just read those names. There's no way I was going to remember it. All right. Shut up. So in conclusion, shut up. Charles X Flair, shut up. There's that reason you are coming today. All right. Uh, so uh, the army's coming in to take care of the dragon. We're being invited as observers, which I'm sure is not going to stay that way. I don't think there's any more quests, right? Um, guess it also mentioned that there is actually a new uh, liberal issue. Um, I think you guys said the vendors have moved to the hotel. This is actually a pretty easy one to miss because you kind of don't even realize the fucking around. Oh, is that an Orvis? No, God damn it. I really wish some of these guys fucking like seriously. I mean, I get it. All right, I get it. It's an old game, but damn it, they could have just even just adjusted the hair color for some of these guys. <laughs> like, have the same thing, just adjusted the color palette for them. Would have helped so much. I really do hope the remake alleviates that some. I don't know if it will. <laughs> I don't know if they will, but you know, hopefully. I think this might be her. Uh, ooh, a spe special edition. Well, that's interesting. It's kind of like a breaking news thing, right? It's a fucking dragon appears! Boast market flattened by a legend. Uh, I doubt any words are needed for this edition. The photograph says it all. This is the dragon that appeared yesterday at noon in the city of Bose. The dragon flew in from the east, then proceeded to land on top of the Bose market. At a length of around 40 arg, its enormous size crushed the roof of the market, causing it to collapse, resulting in injuries. Afterwards, it flew west to Ravenu Village and raised the village orchards. Following its terms of destruction, it took the clouds and vanished. The Royal Army immediately restricted airspace. Uh, assistance flee damaged market. Crushed by the dragon, the dome ceiling of the Bros market collapsed and injured several persons despite the rapid response from nearby bracers. Some of the injured remain unconscious. The market is currently cornered off. It is unclear on when or if it will reopen. For the emblem of the city to be so damaged has been quite the shock to every citizen. Ravenna Village grieves over orchards. The dragon's attack on the... The Ravenous Village reduced the orchards to ash. The Ravenous main industry this is their terrible. Their loss is a terrible blow. Uh, Queen makes an emergency announcement after receiving reports of damage from across the region. Queen Licia announced emergency support for the affiliated areas. The Queen also stated that in order to prevent further damages, she would appeal to the Royal Army to respond to the threat immediately. According to persons within the army, a plan is already in the works. Currently, the dragon remains at large, and systems will remain anxious until that plan is enacted. Uh, legend versus reality. Dragons have always been described as moderate and intelligent in lore, but destructive creature. The structure you witness here seems a far cry from the idolized image. Specialists in the ancient life confirm that the anatomy is the same. So, what does this behavioral difference mean? As being from before the Great Collapse, it's theorized that perhaps it may be confused by the change of environment. Regardless, the army has been forced to categorize it as a threat despite the concern expressed by specialists. Yeah, it's. It, I, I do really have to wonder how all this. All this stuff, all these tests are going to come together. I'm sure all of these different gospels they have are going to essentially work in some elaborate plan, including controlling this fucking dragon thing. I don't even know. I mean, like, is the dragon even like a part of the plan? It probably is. It's not just like, unless it's just a proof of concept that, hey, I can control this, uh, a, control a, a creature or something like a dragon. I don't know. Because I think even all the other things, I mean, it wasn't like the the plan was the thing they specifically did in that moment. It was just a test. To return to the capital, is scheduled line has stopped all things. Oh, the Imperial Ambassador, how dare they leave me? How dare they? I've got a fucking badge. Look, you got it back for me. We know, we know, we know, dude. I will say though, I think this is gr I, I I actually think this event here is probably the most exciting thing that's happened in a while. Like, I need, we need something big like this to shake sh shit up, right? 
if I have a fucking drag come down and take a huge dump on this market. Because I feel like things have been a little, too, like I said, just getting a little too predictable in the game. Hello there. Hi, Mayor Mabel. Wow, looks like they've already started work. Yes, thanks to the aid of the citizenry, we've been able to start construction a lot sooner than I expected. I've also sent all the aid I can muster to Revenue. It seems we've finally gotten past the worst of it all. It's good that things are settling down at least. So, um, how's, uh, how's Lila? Lila's? Lila hasn't changed since yesterday. The only thing we can do is wait for the medicine to take effect and pray, really. Oh, uh, sorry. Not at all. Simply fretting by her bedside won't fix anything. For the moment, I'm of the opinion that the best thing I can do is fulfill my duty as mayor. After all, Lila would be quite put out if, with me if she knew I was wasting time worrying about her. Yeah, she definitely would. We'll do what we can, too. It's all in your hands. Good luck. Okay, I know my female voices aren't totally there yet, but trust me, this is I, I can at least vocalize and, um, and emote in some way here. <laughs> Literally, like, before it was like, I just, I couldn't even like get any of it out. I could barely do my dude voices. Everyone just said, everyone was basically an like, octave lower than normal. Um, I think we're pretty much good to go. Unless I want to get like weapons for, I mean, am I gonna have like a choice here of who I, I go out with? Eh, this is fine. Because the person was told about, right? The armor in your ship you'll be born will be docking soon. You should go meet a dock one to the right. Okay. Mm, looks like the military ship hasn't shown up yet. We should have enough time to visit the merchants if we need anything. What do you want to do, Estelle? Let's fucking go. Let's just go ahead and wait for the ship to arrive. So their ship's just gonna pick us up is gonna be one of those big reinforced army ones, right? Yes, one of our guard airships. They make up most of our military ships, so I'd imagine that's what we'll be on. Mm, the typical Royal Army guard ship is usually well-rounded. Strong firepower, a large load capacity, and good mobility. Though that's what I know from 10 years ago. They've been upgraded since their initial deployment, correct? Yes, in addition to giving them better armor and engines and such, we have specialized the ships by varying their equipment. Patrol craft, scout craft, attack craft. The principle, at least, as I understand it, is to ensure that squad the squadrons are flexible by giving each one mission-specific equipment. Just what I expect from the country that invented airship warfare. We have airship squadrons in Kalvar, but they're nothing more than showboats, really. Interesting. You know, I wonder how much of the stuff that they're describing here will actually be held up in later games, right? Because I'm sure later games, like there's probably a game that eventually ends up in Calvard, right? I mean, I, I mean, granted, I don't know exactly what the, the timeline is. Is it like happening at the same time as these games? Is it happening after these games? I, I don't really know, but, but I'll be curious how much of it actually like is consistently matched up. Like how far ahead did this motherfucker actually like plan this shit that he didn't forget that he said this in this game or something that it's like, oh yeah. And then we go there and then it's all these fancy ships and stuff. And he's like, no, Zin back in fucking <laughs> chapter five of SC said they had shitty ships. You fucking forgot. I'm gonna bet that, I bet it's probably pretty damn consistent. <laughs> the empire is a little different. We use airship squadrons. The empire's strength is always laid in its cavalry divisions. Our tanks in this age. Ding dong. Attention, please. A Royal Army vessel will be landing at Port 1 momentarily. All non affiliated personnel, please refrain from entry Port 1. Hey, here we go! Uh, huh? I don't think I've heard this engine sound before. Oh my, that's. It's like Big Bertha or some shit. Ah! Damn, it's a big boy! It's textures are going crazy too. Woo! Coming in hot! <laughs> so, we're gonna be right in the R side! Julia didn't mention this at all when I spoke with her last night. Uh, yo, Estelle, who is it? Oh, it's got me. Hi, everybody, long time no see. Who else could that fucking be? 
Oh no, never mind. Damn it! <laughs> it's just you, Dorothy. I thought An thought Annalise was back. Get out of here! What? Is that? <laughs> See, now I have a habit of meeting in the straightest damn places. It all, everything returns to Nile and Dorothy. Estelle, everyone, it's so great to see you again. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why are Niall and Dorothy on the RSI? I guess they got picked up after the whole thing with Joshua. I don't know. Allow me to explain. Hello there. Julia. Julia, you awful tease, you dirty whore. Why don't you, <laughs> why, why didn't you tell me last night that you'd be coming in the RSI? I'd get to have my fun with surprises sometimes, my princess. My apologies if I startled you. Oh, Julia. I take it that if you're using the RSI, it's part of the grandmother's plan? Just so. Uh, what's your marriage you got to do with this? If the famous cutting edge RSI gets involved, the only fear of the dragon may have their concerns eased. I believe that is her thinking. Get the biggest, fattest ship. It's like this fucking dumb dragon bitch gets stabbed up to this huge, thick-ass ship. Big-ass guns. Huge cock. Oh, good idea. Ah, uh, Queen Alicia, could you soon press? The reporters are, I assume, along for the very same reason. Yeah, pretty much. The whole damn country's losing over this damn dragon thing. Looks like they're hoping us humble reporters can produce a little something to calm the masses. Mr. Burns, remember. I know, I know. I won't give away any state secrets. I am going to be poking my head around to some extent, though. I ain't running straight propaganda here. As you wish. Hmm, on time for once, I see. Who is it? Hi, Morgan. General Morgan? <laughs> Who else is going to walk out of that fucking door? Terrell, allow me to express our thanks for allowing us aboard. Well, Her Majesty's opinion helped. Let me be clear on this up front so there's no misunderstanding. You bracers are nothing more than observers on this mission. Sure, bro. Sure, whatever you say, wink. All you'll be allowed to do is watch as we kick ass. <laughs> That'd be amazing if he said that. So we execute the plan. I'm fine with that. If the army can settle things, I'm sh I sure won't complain. I look forward to seeing what you can do, General. Hm, very well. Your Highness, please this way. We shall accompany you to the bridge. But... Can I allow the princess to board as a mere passenger on her own airship? Would affect the crew's morale, your highness. Very well. You get to sit in the fucking super deluxe first class seats. Well, he's as icy as always. We should just accept that, that us dumb city bracers are, you know, something approaching competent. Mm, the general is hard-headed. Old school sort of man. I doubt he'll ever change his opinions quickly. Allow me to lead you aboard the ship. Salute. And on that note, allow me to finally welcome you properly as allies and friends of long standing. Welcome aboard the RSI, flagship of the Royal Guard in Liberal. Thanks, ma'am. Let's go beat and eat ass. Father Queen! Huzzah! Oh god, it's a little unsteady here. <laughs> it was kind of shaking. Wrong. There's the... Don't look, ignore the edge of the map on the right there. Damn, too late. Who is it? Ah, shit. Fuck my dick. They're gone. Yeah, we should have hit it out a bit earlier. But I'll be honest, your, your cooking cup maybe had to take a huge shit, Tina. Sorry. I didn't know you couldn't eat spicy food, Agate. It's not that I can't eat spicy food. It's just that... It's just a little hot on, on my stomach, all right? I mean, I, I can eat it. I just, you know, I need a heads up next time, all right? I got probiotics for that exact reason. Oh, well. We'll leave the dragon watch over to the rest of the gang. Y yeah, but, but, aw. I wanted to ride the RSI. Come on, show stuff. There's more to life than gawking at machines. Ah, uh, but there's so much to see. You had your room with eight, with eight of the new model engines? The next generation bridge with all the best information processing equipment? It'd be a dream! For the... You guys live like candles. E. But still, Agate, what do we do now? Good question. I guess let's we'll fuck around. Well, first off, I'm gonna need a, f a new great sword if I want to keep being the heavy blade. Oh, yeah, you got your other one cut in half. Oh, right. 
Yeah, I guess you can't really repair a sword that gets broken that badly. Yeah, you have to buy a new one. It's all right. <laughs> no, they're not that expensive. Let's go to one at the weapon store in the south block. I got so many people running up from off screen. Yo, Ted. You're the receptionist here, aren't you? Ah, it looks like you didn't. Ah, it looks like you didn't make it in time. I can try to raise the R sound the radio if you want. Nah, it's okay. So I came out here just to see if I caught the flight. That's two, but we actually just got a rush delivery on the flight last night with your name on it. I just found it. A rush delivery from me. Oh, by the way, I guess the 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 thing that um uh, my sister made for him, you actually see in his portrait. It's just it's the thing around his neck. Yeah, small package. Return dress says Russell. What? But from Grandpa. That's gonna be that's gonna be of significance later, right? But they're gonna like come save our asses at some point with whatever the hell that is. Accident comes gag and teeter me riding a big like fucking motorized hoverboard and come flying in with like jet engines and machine guns and lasers. It's gonna be awesome. Hi. You're our friends, right? What are you doing? Well then, allow me to explain Operation Dragon! <laughs> Fucking Dragon! Capture! Ooh, look at this! Fancy! I feel like I'm in a different video game right now. It's all high tech in here. This operation will be conducted primarily by the Airship Force. Our ground divisions will focus solely on keeping order in all regions during the operation. Wait, all the regions? So we're, we're, we're going beyond both for this? Possibly not by our choice. Last night's events showed that the dragon's capacity for flight is significant. It's very possible we'll move to another region at some point. But Falcon doesn't have the budget for that, General Morgan! We kept 30 more locations in this game! I know that! I know! We're already out of money and the localizers are already trying to kill themselves. But we're gonna do it anyway, cuz fuck you and fuck all of them. Yeah, good point. The plan shows all 12 airships in total, including the RSI, which is the same, involves two fifths of our entire fleet. The rest will be re held in reserve. Two fifths of the entire fleet? That's enough power to nuke an entire fucking country! Enough power to give our friend quite a reception, hmm? Julia. Sir! Check out our cool TV. Damn! We also get Netflix and Hulu on here. Ah, oh, sweet! What's a Hulu? It's 2006. This is a map of the the mission plan. Yes, precisely. The RSI is currently cruising in Bose airspace. We shall be using the RSI as the flagship and command vessel for this operation. The actual Dragon Patrol should be carried out by... Eight patrol ships equipped with wide area radar. The dragon so much as raise his head above the tree line. They will be able to find it and blast that shit clean off his neck. Bam! Then once the dragon is found, ships will give chase at high speed using their rapid fire artillery to check the dragon and guide it over Lake Valeria. At the same time, several patrol vessels armed with tranquilizer, tranquilizer rounds will be scrambled from Laysan Fortress. Okay, so they're just gonna put him to sleep. Or try to. Fuck it. You got to put a lot of tranquilizer in that dragon. Once the dragon is painted, they will intercept it. They will fire every tranquilizer around they have and sick the creature. He's like... <laughs> that is the plan in full. Um, wow. Well, this is certainly a bit of a larger skill than most guild operations. If the tranquilizers don't work, I'm guessing you'll switch to live ammunition. Yes. In that case, we'll have to destroy the dragon with concentrated fire from all ships. Her Majesty has asked us to prioritize capture over destruction. We are ready for every good to see. Huh. Why would Queen Alicia want the dragon alive? Dragons are cre creatures of myth. The oldest legends. As though she could not bear to have it slain. I can understand that. Especially since the dragon is under the society's control. Yeah, good point. Just a dude trying to live his life! Wait, that's right! That Lorenz or uh, Leonhardt and... Whoever he is, guy! Get a gospel! That mean? Yes. The robo shutdown phenomenon. According to Professor Russell, the maximum range of the effect is roughly 5 arg. All ships on board get no closer than 10 arg to the dragon. Yeah, otherwise the ship could go fucking. As long as we do that, there should be not be a problem. That should work. Hopefully. 
Most impressive, General. You do seem prepared for everything. Huh. We learned quite a bit from the Hundred Days War. I'm sure this plan somehow failed entirely. Well, I guess we all die together in a blaze of glory. We'll be left wanting for options. So that come to pass, we'll be relying on you. It's nice of you to say that, but, uh... Why do I get the impression you think this plan is foolproof and invincible? Heh, <laughs> cause it fucking is, bitch! Yeah. This plan is a problem, and said we have to wait for the dragon to show its face. Well, that's a question. What do we do if the dragon doesn't show up? Given how Ouroboros has behaved up to this point, I find it unlikely they'll keep it hidden. They'll want to use that dragon to do... something. They probably will, won't they? Well then, bracers. Once we found the dragon, we will announce it over the comm. Until then, please make yourselves at home. Till then, let's all run around the ship and talk to everybody. That's what I'm fucking messed at, bitch. Woo! 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 Stop that. Stop doing that. Stop. Leave me alone. I'm an old man. I need to move too fast. Woo! Can't catch me, old man. Yeah! This is why I don't like you, bracers. I don't like you. Especially young bracers. They're too chipper. Spike, you're too fast. Stop it. Stop it now! Ah, ah, God, I'm getting so dizzy! Ah. <laughs> Woo! How do you have so much energy? Why am I so old? Fuck me! Fuck all young people! Ah, uh, Miss Bright! Is that wrong, Jim Nero Morgan? What do you mean it's like wrong? I was yelling at you that whole time you were running around me! Nero, it's taking a moment to look over the battle plan again. A plan that could seem perfect when Fett first drafted and could show faults over time. Have you uh, found any problems then? Oh, it's down to me. <laughs> I guess this just shows how fucking awesome I am. Sure, of the truly unpredictable happening, this plan should succeed. I'm afraid there will be no need for any of you this time. Ha <laughs> ha! Looks like you're just gonna be watching a cutscene instead of playing a video game. Well, I won't mind if that turns out to be true. But if we need to, we'll, we'll help as best we can. You did have less aboard, after all, sir. I must expect something could happen. It's possible, but you, you know, remember. We only have our plan ends prematurely. I was ready to follow orders on the mission itself. Don't worry, we understand. We're just gonna sit back and watch with our popcorn in hand. Watch for now and see what you guys can do. Huh, quite a head on your shoulders, Miss Sprite. So have a little time for the contact with the dragon. It's the time to ensure you're prepared. Do it out! Alright. What we got going on here? Oh, we got Olivier. I'm never gonna sippy do. Are still towing the ship. Pretty much, yeah. Hey, wait a minute. Are you drinking for a mission? <laughs> this is a drink of celebration, my sweet. I celebrate the imminent meeting of the genius bard and the legendary dragon. Well, putting aside the genius bard bit, a legendary dragon. Do they still tell stories about dragons in the Empire? Why, naturally. There are quite a number of legends and tall tales of sightings, especially in the southern regions near Bose. In fact, I believe the Imperial Institute of Science was to launch an investigation. But then the Hundred Days War broke out. Wow, so I guess take the legends kind of seriously. So even in the Empire, dragons are pretty much a mystery, huh? Hmm, you could say that, I suppose. But to the people of the Empire, this particular situation would have a more straightforward solution. Straightforward, huh? Erebonia is a far more, uh, pragmatic realm than the Burl. If something like this were to happen in the Empire, His Majesty would order the destruction of the dragon immediately. <laughs> Just nuke that bitch. The Empire believes in boldly standing against all who would oppose it. Even if the opposition is a dragon, it would be torn down without mercy. <laughs> that seems a little bloodthirsty. Securing national peace through force of arms is the Erebonian way. I confess, as a messenger of love and peace, I do find it a bit sad. It would be an interesting turn of events for the dragon to flee into Erebonia. With that to happen, though, it is all too clear that it will be taken as an excuse for a rekindled war. Our good General Morgan is all too aware of that, I suspect. Mm. Oh my god, they got a fucking pool table in here? Where's my pool minigame, Trails in the Sky? Where is it? You gave us fishing, now I need a pool minigame. You can't put you can't put a pool table in here and not and not also have a minigame associated with it, alright? Cause every game has to be fucking Yakuza. In the right, Chef Casey. Yo, bracers, welcome to the ship's galley! You want some shit? Name's Casey, I run this little corner of the lady birds the ship cook. I brought the commissarette too. That's not quite ready yet. You want some supplies? I have to ask you to get the fuck out. Oh, you're not open? Aw, oh, oh, shit. No, though, why is he drinking then? Oh, the guy in the white coat? I treated him. I was taking the stock of liquor and he struck up a conversation. See, so you know what he was talking about, so I gave him a drink. I, uh, I see. 
But they calls him calls himself a gourmand for a reason, I guess. A gourmand of drinks. A drink bond. Damn. Is he so fancy? Oh my god. Oh, yeah. ah. Say cheese ship! Cheese! Cheese! Oh my god! Oh god! Oh, stop! You blind me, Dorothy! Yahoo! It's now! Hi, Dorothy! You see me doing okay? Is your camera still treating you good? How are you not out of film yet? You bet! This girl's so cute, she looks great from any angle! And by this girl, you mean the RSI. Oh, Dorothy, you're as you as ever. <laughs> Eat you do us, Al! You're just as full of energy as always! Yeah! Ah, uh, well, thanks. Uh, wait, were you worried about me? Yeah, of course! I mean, I... Well, I took the photo of Joshua, right? If that made you all sad, I have to be sad, too. Oh, Dorothy, I'm sorry. No, it's okay. I'm a reporter, so it's my job to try and cheer people up. Um, sorta. You're worried about anything else? Talk to me anytime. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if Dorothy is the kind of person you open up and expect, like, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, she's sweet, but I don't know if she would necessarily give you, like, an enlightened, uh, helpful comment in return. She's like, just be like, do your best. I'm sure whatever you do will be the right answer. <laughs> Thanks. Uh -huh. I'll uh, keep that in mind. I'll say, geez, oh, God. Can you take pictures of me until the dragon shows up? And then I'm going to pretend to get interior shots while getting pics of the late captain's death. In her ass. With the right Nile. Yo, Estelle. Killing time till the dragon shows up. More or less. How about you? Putting stuff together for your latest scoop? Eh, ah, not really. I'm waiting for the star of the show, same as you. Even if it doesn't show up, at least you got a few nice shots to the outside, and that lady captain's ass. We're just lucky enough to be, even be here. You must be having a field day. You get to cover the fight with the dragon and the new cutting edge ship all in one go. Yeah, the dragon versus airships thing alone would make it the story of the decade. Every single reporter at the office raised their hand when we were taking volunteers to cover this. Hmm, that figures. Congrats on getting picked for the job. Did you guys draw straws or something? Draw? Nah, of course not. I got picked because I'm a damn good reporter. All that effort during the queue is starting to pay off. Well, hey, more power to you. Saving the Royal Army respects you now, huh? Hey, if you write good stuff, even the big guys will come knocking on your door. By the way, if anything's interesting comes, up, comes your way lately, I'm free to swap a few stories anytime you want. You can always use a few good editorials to fill our pages. Uh, um, we'll see. Speaking of Estelle, he you close it all to Captain Schwartz? I wouldn't exactly call us close. I guess we've known each other for a while now, though. Don't suppose to get introduced me. We've been getting outed by readers for a special edition featuring the female captain of the Royal Guard. Julia's kind of popular, then. Oh, totally. I'd say she's about as popular as her highness, Cl highness Claudia. She's hot as fuck and she kicks ass. What's up to like? I mean, there's some publishers that hit you to put a whole photo album of her on the shelves. <laughs> Swimsuit calendar edition. Photo album? It's just a rumor floating around. If they want to, there's no way they get permission. And I sure want to be the guy who's caught taking candid photos of her. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's true. Galaxy's seems to help him though. <laughs> what? <laughs> Dude, everyone just thinks Julia's hot as fuck. Try to ask Captain Swartz in the interview sometime, me. Like, yeah, real guys interact with people so much, so everyone's got plenty of questions about them. Let's get a chance to report on who she really is. I also like the new music in this area. Isn't that right? Royal Guardsmen with no name are not to listen to. If you have no name, you're useless to me. Hi, Shira. Shira, so this is where you are. Hi, Estelle, taking a walk. Yep, enjoying the wind? Yes, the Weather's lovely, so I'm taking it easy. Now I want to take a breather as part of our job too, you know. Short breaks like these are good for are keeping our minds sharp. Now's the perfect time. Yeah, I know. Hey, Shira, do you think the plan will work? To be honest, I don't know. Common sense that there's a very good chance it'll succeed. We have 12 patrol ships out on patrol as we speak, after all. Hard to imagine even something as powerful as a dragon getting away from all that. Yeah, I guess you're right. General Morgan was uh, was pretty confident, too. That's just how he looks on the surface. Remember? He was none too happy to have bracers on board. And yet, he let us on anyway. That can only mean one thing. 
He's worried about how this will turn out too. Exactly. And that is tells why conserving our strength is right now right now is a good idea. Eh, makes sense. Guess I'll keep wandering around a bit. Good, that's what I like to hear. It's not every day you get to ride the RSI. Enjoy yourself. True enough. See you, Shara. See you soon, Estelle. The fact they're on board proves that General Morgan's an uneasy. We need to be ready. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, there's another circuit. I can even see it. Can't turn my camera. I was like, where's everybody else? Aha. Still, hello. Are you finding it a little hard to calm down? Yeah, a bit. Really can't stay still for this one. That reminds me. You um always walk around like this with the passenger ships as well. <laughs> You're like the only one to comment on this, Chloe. Uh, yeah, I think you mentioned it, I do. I don't know, I feel kind of kind of suffocated and trapped and I just sit around politely. Mm, that's very like you, Estelle. But uh, I wouldn't worry about that too much on the other side. Huh? What do you mean? Property of the Ausilis family, it may be. But this is a fully functional war cruiser. At full speed, its engine capa capabilities far exceed those of passenger vessels. If it go at flank speed, I don't think you'd even be able to rein standing. I is it seriously that fast with a new engine? Eh, you'll be surprised, I think. It's a bit like walking into a storm. I, uh, I see. So that kind of makes us all this the calm before the storm, then. Yes, after a fashion. So maybe a very brief pe period of peace before the action begins. If you want to look around the interior, this may be your only chance. Better keep that in mind, then. Guess I better start wandering around faster, huh? Yes, I'll see you later. Hey, sis, tell us to come for the storm. Don't die! Miss Bright, good day. How do you find the RSI? It's really, really cool! I guess I should be surprised the Queen's ship is awesome, but still. Thank you for your kindness, Miss Bright. I am simply relieved the new engine made it in time. Of course, I hardly expected to use it on a mission of quite this nature. I hear that! Who'd imagine a dragon would show up? Yes, it is not a mystery as a foe, even to us. We may have a plan of attack, but it'd be foolish to rely completely on it in the face of the unknown. Be prepared for anything, in case something goes amiss. If anything happens, it'll be up to us, huh? Hopefully it will not come to that, but only Idios knows what lies before us. Oh, by the way, Julia, did you know that Niall, uh, Mr. Niall Burns wants to cover you for an article? An article? About me? It's a sexy swimsuit edition! Yeah, he wants the scissors to know the real world card, he says. He's pretty serious about his job, so I think you can trust him, you know? I am well aware of Mr. Burns' professional credentials. If not, I would not have allowed him to accompany us to cover this story. Oh yeah, good point. To be honest, I absolutely support the idea behind such an article. However, I'm afraid I must decline. Huh? Even if you support it? We have refused some more proposals from other companies as well, you see. I cannot give LeBron any special treatment. Ah, uh, guess not. Forgive me, but please tell him as much. I still look forward to seeing the article, however. Okay, then. Okay. Did I miss a room somewhere? Hey, where's the hell Zin at? Oh, I'll let him know. That's source of me, yeah? Uh, blah, blah, blah. Oh, I'm about that, Niall. I'm afraid she just straight up refused. What? <laughs> Re refused? Already? Uh, sorry, Niall. Is this something about it being kind of inconvenient? Ah, right, right. Damn, it's even more godder than I thought. Sorry, wish I could have, we could have helped. Ah, don't worry about it. I have fault they, they keep to themselves the way they do. Still, there's gotta be some other way. It's like Niall would not take the hint if the prize is, is a hot scoop. Just waiting to say yes to you, huh? They're gonna be easy to get through, get out of through for friend too. Uh, where the hell is Zin at? Let me see a room I missed. Oh, wait, no, I, I got this one. Yeah, where's Zin? Oh, this one, this one. The, the angle, it, it looked like a... I don't know, I don't know what it looked like. It's so hard to tell this was stairs. Oh, you're the bracer I heard about. I never thought General, General Moore would lock braces aboard. The, Arm, the Royal Army's really changing, I guess. This proof General Bright's organization is coming along. Okay, answer rents to check out. It isn't too often that you get to measure the engine's output in action. I'm totally writing all this down for the engines we design in the future. We're done test after test rigging as much performance as we can for the engine. No matter how many experiments we do, though, and live combat things will be different. It's one of the development staff. I'm half eager and half terrified to see how the engine performs. 
They get us through this mission. I'd say it all, all the hard work will have been worth it. It's the first fly out of the nest for this little bird. Seeing how she does, you collect the final data. Engine room, don't go in there. So you want to fucking die in it. Is it not here training? Estelle, good to see you. What brings you here? I guess the same thing of you, Zen. I know, trying to catch a nap or something. Ha! Probably wouldn't be a bad idea, but no. Thought I'd get a little practice in. I can't seem to stay calm. And sitting in a confined space like this is like this ship. You're in the middle of one of your walks, I guess. Yeah, I can never manage to sit still myself. But practice, huh? Is this little cramp for practice? Practice isn't all about movement, remember? There's plenty you can do even in a small space such as this. Huh? Like what? Breathing exercises and meditation, for one. But practicing your forms is an important part of training as well. Especially for bracers like us. We tend to get a little sloppy and let our styles fall apart from so much live combat. It's important from time to time to find a chance to return to the basics and correct yourself. That's um, a good point. I haven't actually done any discipline practice for a while now. Or you put it that way makes me worry I'm like an awful mess in a fight now. Oh man. Ha! Yeah, it's nothing to worry about. I'm speaking generally. Still, if it resonates with you, then there's nothing lost by fighting a chance to recenter yourself. My offer still stands to be a practice partner. Uh, well, thanks, Sin. May stick you up on that. Looking forward to it. Going to continue practicing my kata. I want to be warmed up when that dragon appears. Ooh. Uh, hello, Estelle. It's been uh, quite some quite a while. Uh, you're uh. I know. Forgive me. It's Peyton, the mechanic. I was with you during one of your plans against Colonel Richard. Sorry, a lot's happened and I've been a fucking shit ton of NPCs. I remember you now, though. I think. <laughs> You're the one who got the Intelligence Division air got the Intelligence Division airship, right? <laughs> yep. Thought I could be of help. I'm glad you didn't completely forget about me. Still, I heard there were braces aboard. I thought it crossed my mind that it might be you guys, so I didn't think I'd, I'd be around the money. Small world, huh? I didn't think the Arts side would be here either. So that the Royal Army's pulling out everything for this mission. Yes, yeah, so I've heard this is the largest Liberlian Le military mobilization since the Hundred Days War. They tell me our targets are lesser ancient dragon. What better way to test the new engine, though, right? You sure seem confident. Well, hey, in a way, all our tuning of that thing was in preparation for this day. Desires from the Central Factory are here today, too, to collect data. So I time the other side to make her grand entrance. Or in a fly like no nothing's flown before. Hell yeah, brother. Door's tightly closed. Okay, I think I have explored all the ship now. Probably time to return to General Morgan then. Or wait for that. Ding dong! Signal from the military. Dragon and flight an airship above the Malga mine. All crew to battle stations. All crew to battle stations. Good observers, report to the bridge. Oh shit, it's about to go down. Here we go! Oh, I'm so fucking ready. Let me just hang it on the back of this thing. Where is he? Or maybe he's not actually. Hey, you bitch, pull over! Nobody oh, gives a shit. Shoot his ass! Shoot it! Ow, ow, stop! God! Hey! What that? Fuck! What's happening? The dragon is above the Malga mine. Look at the display. Woo! Fancy! Malga, so it's in Roland. I'm amazed we found it. Where shall we intercept it, sir? A good question. We need to lure to the lake, but we cannot afford to land near the capital. Our reception boat will be near the Lendhard River estuary. Patrol ships, lure the dragon to the riverside. Attack ships forward! Hi, sir. This is the R side to all ships. Our interception point will be the Lendhard River estuary. All patrol ships, lead the dragon to the interception point. Use formation B. We are just going the fuck in! <laughs> Attack ships, launch and proceed to the interception point. Hey, look, it's dear old Daddy Cassius. Yeah, if I were up there, I would have just fought the dragon myself. Beat it, one on one. 
like a dear old daddy would. Think he would actually fall into their hands. Perhaps I need to settle this myself. Hell yeah! No. If I act, it will simply be the same thing all over again. Ha. Huh. You and I are the, in the same position, I suppose. Great idiots who aren't in the sky. He and I. Uh. What are you referring to? Referring to Joshua? Referring to somebody else? I don't know. Please, guide uh, us who stand upon this chaotic earth. We're gonna fight this dragon, bitch. All attack ships have launched. The stimmy through wrath at 1220 uh, hours. 1220 hours. Hmm. Full speed ahead. Put us southwest of the interception point. Hi, sir. Restore our mobile power flow to all sections. Ahead, full. Helm, take us to the southwest of the Lindhard River estuary. Oh, yeah, here we go. Gonna get you, dumb dragon. Gonna fuck you up. Ba 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 da. Da 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 Gonna blast this bitch right out of the goddamn demon sky. Da 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 da. All attack ships have arrived at their designated positions. Trek laser rounds loaded and ready. All right. Also, just a wait for the dragon to show up. All attack ships, prepare to fire. Begin to attack on my command. Aye, sir. Gulp. And it begins. And so it begins. Or does it end? Or is it only the middle? <laughs> I don't know. Come on, you bitch. Come on. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. I did that. Oh shit! Fire! Woo! Holy dumb truck! Ah! Oh my god! Blah, 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 blah. Dumping so many tranks into this thing! Ah! Oh god! Oh god! I That's a lot of tranquilizers. This is gonna be taking a big fat nap. He's like, holy shit. And then just hope that uh, gravity doesn't kill him. Ah, victory theme. <laughs> I'm going to do my victory pose. Check us out, guys. Whoa. Whoa. Under the arm. Oh, back behind the bro. Whoa. Under the leg. Here we go. Oh, I'm going to toss over to Chloe there. Now back to me. All right. All right. Gerald Morgan, your victory pose is taking way too long. Listen, I don't get a chance to do this very often. Right? Just let me have this. I think we got it. Absolutely incredible. Ha. Not even a dragon can stand up against this. My goodness, such a spectacle. What a performance. I didn't get to do anything. Kaveri splashed down of a dragon into Lake Valeria. Shall we proceed as planned and bind it, sir? Proceed. As soon as you confirm it's safe, bring the RSI down. We'll form a water landing and inspect the dragon ourselves. Aye, sir. It's not like a fake dragon or something. I'm like, it's not like a hologram. I don't know. I'm like trying to think how they're like, just be fooling us. Or maybe they want us to do this? I'm gonna poke his eye. Bomp, bomp. Hey, wake up. Wake up. <laughs> I think he's floating, by the way. He's face down in the water. He's, he's drowning himself with his face in the water. <laughs> water landing complete. No response from the dragon. Right then. Time to see this with my own eyes. Captain, accompany me. Sir. Um, can we? Yes, you should come too. 
It's an ancient dragon of legend. It looks like it's something you get to see every day. Yeah. Uh, okay, my whole party's with me. Including a fifth party member. Dur -dur -dur -dur. Say cheese! Giant lady dragon! Oh wow, it's so big! He's so handsome too! It's Jimmy's he's asleep! I hope he wakes up soon! Uh, no Dorothy, you really don't. I told you girl, if he wakes up, we're in trouble. Still, hell of a creature. If he wakes up, we're all gonna fucking die today! Wow! Mm, incredible, hardly does it justice. Oh, still! Heh, <laughs> you guys came too, huh? Your Highness, it's dangerous out here. Please, I must ask you to return to the cabin. I'll be fine, General. Besides, seeing it up close, it truly is magnificent. Is he really asleep, though? We confirmed a heartbeat, so it isn't dead. Yet? Even so, we pumped enough tranquilizers into it to stop an army of normal monsters. He'll be down for a while. Cool, that's good then. Speaking of things being good. Oh, wait, I see a fishing spot over there. <laughs> Guys, look, there's a little life. See a little bit of water pool pulling over there. <laughs> oh, that's a fishing spot. I gotta go over there and fish right now. I still know, there's no time for that. Guys, I gotta get, I get all the fish, okay? You don't understand. But also, other good things. Does anybody see that Le Leonhard Louvet guy, whoever guy around? Hmm, I doubt he could, he could be hiding. Louvé held the gospel, which was the linchpin of this experiment. If he's not here, does that mean that they have abandoned their quest? According to the patrol ships that chased the dragon in, there was never a rider visible. I'd say it's very likely he wasn't present to begin with. Huh, not surprising. He probably learned about a plan and fled. Typical of his sort of criminal element. Mm, I don't know. He's like the kind of guy to just turn tail and run. Indeed, we shouldn't let our guard down just yet. Incidentally, where are you taking the dragon after this? For the moment, the plan is to tow it to Layston. After that, we need to discuss it with her majesty and Cassius first. I see. Huh? Uh-oh. Dorothy! Did you find something? Hmm, maybe it's just my imagination, but... Is there a bump on his forehead? What? Yeah, I saw that thing too, but I just thought it was like an adornment. Oh, is that shit like jammed into him? He's right. There's a little bump. I mean, who knows, man? That thing's supposed to normally be there. There's a little slit on it. Actually, it's like a eye or something. Whoa. No. The gospel. It's here. Uh, uh, oh. Oh, shit. Huh? We're all about to get fucking nuked. Oh, I guess I just woke him up. Okay, I thought I thought it was about to like, like all the ships are around it or something. It was gonna blast us, so all of our ships just fall. Boom! Oh, that worked too. Fuck your tranquilizers! Ah! What? Damn you! You will not escape. Charge! Get us in the air, sir. Turn on the, or, the, or, that black orm is just a stimulant or something. Just wake his ass up. I'm coming, boy. Sorry, missiles. Oh, shit. I hit some guy's house. Dude, what the fuck? Dra Dragon members, the five Ds of dodgeball. No good. Got it. Missiles can't get a lock. Damn it all. Kids, we can see the heat station right there, too. Must be jamming your missiles somehow. All right then, give it a taste of the main guns. Target is increasing speed. 2300 silk per hour, 24, 25, 2600. What a monster. None of the patrol ships will be able to pursue it. Our size engine can keep up with that. All hands, we're not sorry to flank combat speed 3200. Oh my God, we're all about to get fucking blown to the fucking back of the ship. Oh, hands, brace for G-force shock. What does that mean? The mass acceleration and thrust will feel like it makes us heavier. Maybe we should have like chairs or seatbelts for us too. Crash down and brace yourself. Okay. Flex speed, engage. Do not let it escape. Aye, ma'am. Whoa! 
We're gonna hit 88 miles per hour at 3.21 gigawatts. Yeah! Woo! We're gonna go traveling through time, bitch. I'm gonna join this fucking pointy thing on the end, wrap this dragon's ass. Come over here. Oh shit, oh god, they're coming. They're right behind me, aren't they? Oh god, oh god, oh Jesus, oh god. No oh god, oh, no, I know we'll look back. I know they're really close. Ah, ah. I'm gonna sideswipe this thing. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. oh okay, we're going down, okay. There's gonna pop up and fucking smoke us. Dragon is descending! At this rate, we'll lose visual! Keep going. Do not lose it. How can he still be in a cloud? We're still being in a cloud. Wait, where is this? What are you? I'm in a Bell Valley. Can we already be in the mist? Hmm. I say loudly. Dragon is ascended in 20 to 1200 R. 1100. 1000. 900. Dragon lost, man. Ch Julia. So we lost sight of it? We did. Northwestern part of the Nabel Valley. The place where the fog is deepest. Can we dark the RSI in that old fort? No, the RSI is too large. I see. The operation is over then. Fuck. All operation ships are to patrol the Nabel Valley region. The RSI will return to Bose. Back to the goofy music. Burr, burr, burr. Oh. No, no goofy music. Only sad music. Dragon has fled to the northwestern corner of Nabel Valley. It's the part of the valley that's hardest to traverse, and it's covered in deep fog, being further in than the bandit base was. In other words, scouting by airship would be difficult. Hmm, difficult at best. There's really no option but to dispatch an expedition on foot. Wait a second! He's sending a whole army, the dragon will just run away! She has a point. I think it would be better to try and strike at him with a smaller group while he's still vulnerable. I.e. Me! Me and you like for us to leave it to you. Well, we are more used to investigating something on difficult terrain than most of your troops. I would say that we're the right people for the job. Hmm. Do you have any idea of how you would investigate this? As I recall, there's no real road into the section of the, of the valley. Simply wandering over, wandering over and praying to Adios that you'll find something could take days at a minimum. Uh, well... Uh, leave that to me, who is that mysterious man. Could it be? It's me! That's right, I did it, hi. You guys left me, damn it. Oh. Agate, Tina! Yo, sorry to butt in. Um, pardon us, I like your shit, by the way. What are you doing here, you goose a goober, you? And more importantly, are you seriously sure up and about? Like I told Tina, this is nothing. Just a bunch of scratches, all right? I don't give a shit if I got stabbed through my kidneys, all right? That's all I... It's fucking... Nothing! Tita? Is he serious? Estelle Stare? Tita? Estelle Stare? Um, yeah. I don't think Egg is really pushing himself. I see. <laughs> well, okay then, I guess. Huh. You have plenty of energy, if nothing else. You said leave it to me, but do you even know what we're talking about? Yeah, I was just kind of eavesdropping away for a cool moment to show up. Yeah, Luger filled me in on the details. That upgrown lizard's disappeared in the northwest of Nabel Valley, right? Yeah, but what can you... I know a man who knows a lot about the area. If we ask him, we should be able to find a way to get into that corner of the valley. Oh. Funny, I, uh... Actually, I know who that is. It's the guy that, It's the guy in the valley. I, when I went to Nabel Valley, I came across a little cabin, and I talked to an NPC in there, an agate. And I think even Estelle was like... They, like, they acted like they met him before. I don't remember him. I probably ran to him sometime in FC, but I, I don't remember who that was. Agate was also familiar with him, though. and I, But I, I didn't really, like, comment on it or anything, so it probably got cut out of that episode. Oh? Who is this guy, exactly? A tough old timer by the name of Welmer, yeah. He lives on the eastern side of the valley. He bragged to me once that he got across the ravine that divides that part of the valley from the rest. I thought, I thought... Oh, I guess we'll see if it still reacts. Oh, right, right! The old man living in that little hut! Yeah, she did. Although, I, I don't know if that's because I talked to him then. I I, th I thought she remarked on it as well. And like, even at the time. 
<laughs> Impressive. Your constant hunt for information has borne fruit, you might say. If you find the dragon, what do you intend to do? It's not what I would call a trivial foe. Do you intend to slay yourselves? There's a gospel thing on his head, right? Job one is to deal with that. Hmm? It does follow that the reason the dragon has grown violent is due to that gospel. The gospels were responsible for all sorts of bizarre phenomena before now, after all. And if we nullify the gospel, perhaps we can then put an end to the dragon's rampage. Sounds like a good plan to me. When you say you'll break, break the gospel, you remind me of what Father Graham did. He hit the gospel with an artifact and shorted it out. We do not exactly have a surfeit of artifacts. Yeah, I don't have time to fiddle with stuff like that. We're just going to smash that thing to bits, frame and all. What? Whoa, hang on a sec. Can we really break a gospel that easily? Whenever I hand handled one, it always seems like it was really sturdy. Let's say we got a solution to that little problem. Ah, take a look. What the hell? Your sword! What the fuck? There's something fit into it. Oh, now I see. Russell tossed me a new gizmo of his in the mail. It's a little something for breaking gospels. For real? For real? Hmm. -mm. How is it meant to work exactly? Oh, I'll explain. The unit on the hill applies high frequency vibrations to the blade that help it break a gospel's frame. Because of the vibration, the motor will break after a few hits. But Grandpa assured that if you hit the gospel cleanly with a vibrating blade, the gospel will break. I uh, don't think I quite get it at all, but it sounds incredible. <laughs> LeBurl's greatest leaving genius comes through once again. I got Tito to attach it when I when it arrived. It seems like it works. All that's left now is to find the dragon and give him a good one on the forehead. So, Mr. General, how's that sound for a plan? If Russell's giving you a fighting chance, I suppose I have no choice but to agree. So then? You'll let us take a crack at it. Yes, do everything you can. However, I will have my airships around on the valley on standby. They will be able to respond if, or when, the dragon slips past you. Eh, sounds like a challenge. You just tell them they won't need, need much ammo. Scream! Seek! Kiarasai will patrol on Bo's airship while you search. Once you discover the dragon's location, please contact us. Roger, leave it to us! I'll have Seek carry a message once we find it. If I'm not with them, I'll ask him to stay near Estelle. Scream! Your Highness, if you do accompany them, please take the greatest care. Still bright, Agate Krosner. Huh? What? The dragon escapes the valley. The army will move to contain it with everything we have. We will not allow the people of the world to come to harm again. So, do everything you can. Don't worry about protecting others. Focus on your mission and leave the rest to us. General. So basically, I got your back. Never thought I'd hear that from you, General. We brought that out. Nothing but politeness, Mr. Krosner. Shut up! Captain, get us in the air! Sir! Stay on my fucking demon wife! Alright, form your party. Oh, wow. Okay. I have to have Tita. And, I mean, obviously, Agate. Uh, I need Tita, I guess, to look after him. Um, so who do I want to go with here? I think I want to go with Big Boy Zen, honestly. He's got you proven to be uh, kind of badass. Okay, so we're going to see Welmer, Welmer in the Bell Valley, right? Yeah. Well, partly, though. Are you really tagging along, Tita? E of course! The vibration unit breaks, I can fix it right then and there. Think my cannon can lend a hand against flying monsters, too. Fine, whatever. So slow us down, shut stuff. No problem! So, what is it? What's the luck? Oh, nothing. Just your old brother neighbor smug a sail back from the demon dead. Oh, God, you're making that stupid luck again. Fuck! Why? What did I do? <laughs> I don't know. What did you do, Agate? What did you do? Little silly billy you. Mm-hmm. Nothing much. How do I put it? Mm -hmm. I was just thinking you two seem a lot closer now. <laughs> yeah! 
Ha! I'm guessing Tina finally won that agate over. I'll do a smug face too, but uh, I don't really have one. What? The hell are you going on about? Ah! Uh, look at that blush. But seriously, it looks like you've got your feelings all sorted out, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I do. I ain't gonna run off alone and get wrecked like a chump anymore. If I do, I'm gonna have a sudden little someone guilt tripping me with a pouty face again. Oh, agate! Mm, I see, I see. Okay then, let's hurry to Noble Valley. Yeah! Let's move out. Yeah, it's funny, I've actually made, uh, I've made, uh, Tita also into a pretty decent healer. Not to mention her, she, that, uh, one art she has that, like, hits a huge area. It's also, it's like 3,500 healing. It's super good. Which is good. It's good that she's, she's pretty good. Yeah, so this big, this, this rock around his neck, that's the thing that, uh, his sister made for him. Cute. Damn, this weapon hits like a fucking truck, dude. Holy shit. Ogre Buster. Well, let me check real quick. There's no new bracer shit. Ah, oh, God, there's one. Uh, the Ravenue Trail Monster. Fat, fat spinner. Fate spinner. All right. Let's just go do that real quick. Oh, yeah. Let's go look at the... Let's look at this over here. Oh, I have Agate with me. Cisco Souls lost in the fires of war sleep here. Leaf Abel, Nicole, Vim, Liana, Misha. May he rest peacefully by the goddess's side. No, I didn't say anything. Damn it. Holy shit. I think that might be him right there. Oh, my God. He's gnarly looking. Now nuke him. Ow! Oh, then you got nuked. What the hell? Oh, we got pair. Oh, oh, we got petrified. Shit. Damn it! Damn it! God damn it! Fucking stupid petrification horse shit. Oh my god! It did so much damage to sell. Oh no. Oh my god. It's not going well. It's going very not well. Uh oh. Oh god. Oh god. It's just Tina left. Bad news bears here. Let him have it, Tina. Ah! Wow, that worked, Tina. Holy shit. Oh god. You're still gonna die, Tita. Huh? Heal yourself. Maybe you'll live. I'm here. I'm dead. Oh, I moved so good. Ow. He's a reviving thing I have on this dumb motherfucker. Ah, uh, die. Shouldn't have done that. Holy shit. All right. You buy some more reviving bombs now. All right. Kicked his ass. Still racing. All right. I think we've already been here and got all the chests that, well, for the areas I can get to. And I know where that dude's house is. Okay, then. First, we need to head to that little hut on the eastern side of the valley, right? Yeah, that's all right. All right, let's do it. Yo, old timer. Ah, Agate. And a little Sprouts group. Hello, Mr. Wilmler. Um, sorry to bother you. Hmm, you kids seem a little like you're filled with purpose this time. What's happened? Tell me. Yes, we are, sir. Actually. Still explain about the dragon attacks around the region and how it disappeared into the northwest part of the valley. Oh, I see. This makes all the noise a little while ago, at least. Hey, old timer. You say you've been to the northwest, right? If you don't mind, we'd like to know what route you used. Absolutely not. Huh? The hell? Why not? Let me ask you kids one question. Once you find that dragon, what are you gonna do? Oh, um, seems like it's been controlled, so we don't really want to slay it. But if it keeps causing pr trouble even after we break the gospel, we'll have to. Can't let it hurt people no matter what. Goodness. Children today know nothing. The kids are treating that dragon as if it's just a big monster. Well, it kind of is. It's no dumb beast you're hunting. As a divine creature older than the Great Collapse. From before the Great... What? You say it's been here for over 1,200 years? Ha! <laughs> Come on, old time, and be serious. Sure, I might have a long lifespan, but... Mr. Wemler speaks the truth, I think. In the East, dragons are worshipped as heavenly beasts. 
We should think of them as being beyond normal human reason. Seriously? I'm uh, starting to think we shouldn't have thought of it as like a normal monster. Trying to slay that creature would be nothing but a suicide. So be good and leave it to the Royal Army. Honestly, most of the armies got their heads up their ends too, but maybe he could. Huh? Well, anyway, no desire to send young people to their graves. Sorry, but I can't help you. But... Hey, old timer. I appreciate the concern, but you're a bit off the mark, don't you think? Hmm? We fought a lot of nasty stuff to get to this far. Intelligence Division thugs, ancient oval machines. Nasty as they were, though we couldn't just let them go because they were too dangerous. We put together what we had. Ain't one of us gave it our all. We managed to overcome them. This dragon's the same. We ain't just gonna blindly rush in. We can't just let it go either. So please, lend us a hand. We need you. Agate. Agate. <laughs> Finally got a bit of nobility in that ugly mug of yours, eh? Your sister liked that. Well, after a speech like that, I guess I have no choice but to help, eh? Really? Thank you, Mr. Wilmler. Nah, don't worry about it. I'm not doing anything that big. I'll head out first and get things ready. Come find me when you're ready. I'll be at the deepest point of the western side. Come find you? Wait, weren't you going to tell us how to get to the northwest part of- It's going to evolve a bit more than just telling you. Anyway, come as soon as you can to the west side by foot. I'll be waiting. <laughs> this guy just walks past everything, I guess. All the fucking adorable dickheads out there to murder him. What? Wait! Nothing for it. But the old man said we should get going. Right, right. Do you just point the west side of the valley, right? Yeah. You keep an eye out so you don't get lost out here. Out there. Okay. Looks like you made it. Old timer. So if we cross that bridge? Alright, go straight across and you'll reach a rocky mountain. It's got a cave in it that'll let you climb up further. The dragon's over that way. Gotcha! We owe you, Wilmer. Or Wemler. That's all, all for you, Sprouts, and I'll be heading back to my hut. Find yourselves now that cave's packed with all manners of nastiness. <laughs> you mean like everything else we've run by here? Things get dangerous, don't be stupid. Turn around and rest up. Need a break, come by the hut and I'll help you out. Thanks, Mr. Wilmler! Well, be careful. All right, new area. What do you do? Do you just like pull, fucking like pull a tree out of the ground and make it a bridge? So this is where the dragon is. Go! Heh, <laughs> time to get really serious. Wait a moment. We should contact the R side now that we found the dragon's lair. Right, good point. Still jot down a short description of the situation. Zack! Scream! He's coming in hot. Scream! Ah, uh, yeah, you really did follow us. Thank you, Zack. Man, that falcon makes no freaking <laughs> Man, that falcon is just like fucking plot armor of the bird. Still attached her note to Zeke's leg. Okay then, Zeke. Can you take that note to the RSI? Scream! And then he ran into a wall and stopped <laughs> in the midair. Right, that's everything, I think. Okay, let's do this. Yeah! Let's go! Let's fucking go, team! Ancient dragons dwell. Like, oh my god, look at the size of this thing. It's beat its ass. Oh, oh, oh. You know what? Maybe not. Oh god, never mind. I'm sure I'm changing my mind. Any more of these little pod things. God, we fought so many of this, fu this fucking enemy. Seriously. It's weird little blob alien things. Oh, we got some of these guys too. These guys are fucking weird. Ghost epitaph. Buster gear. There's nothing in the chest but spires now. They all stare at you and clap. Bravo! Oh, thank you, Mr. Spider. New weapon for Tina. EP charge. Look under the chest. I'm gonna find the, the keys to a brand new air, a brand new airship. We don't find anything. <laughs> Damn it. Don't it burn. Oh my God, you some fucking weirdos here. Terror bomb. Church just graduated at the top of its class at the richest Royal Academy. Uh, ebony shoes. No. 
<laughs> no. You've used that one before, all right? I laughed my ass off the first time, but not the second. Got a little waterway in here, too. Oh, shit. That's over the right way to go. Go back. Trigger the cutscene. Scream! See? Oh, there he is. Bird just fucking collides with the ship. Scream! She only took the message from C's leg. Let's see. A sales group has arrived at the mountain before they, where they believe the dragon to be. They're going to enter in search. I see. Transmit all ships. Stand by Disney quarters with armor piercing rounds loaded. If the dragon attempts to flee, do not let it escape. And if a stellar team are in the way of the shots, take them anyway. Yes, sir. Okay, that's clearly the right way to go. So we're gonna go back now. <laughs> Ooh, a rainbow surprise. I, I guess you can keep it, Baka. Ooh, Erendite. That's for uh, Chloe, though. It's empty, but if you plant a seed and keep growing, yeah, yeah, we grow and grow potato or something. Yeah, you said that one already. Uh, psychic, psychically, sensing that there's nothing inside, you walk away from the chest without disturbing it. Psychotically, Earth and Mirage If you're reading this, please send help. We've been stuck on this cave for years. <laughs> oh God, localization team. <laughs> This was their last cry for help. Uh, this, this poor team. Trap fucking just translating this one fucking game that never wants to end, apparently. There's eight, even if you, after you get to the end of the game, oh wait, there's like 800 billion other routes and variations of shit and different characters saying stuff. Those poor motherfuckers. Uh, Misty Veil. Something in the chest. I really wonder if you could use this as a makeshift boat. Throw all bomb. I don't, I don't know what you expected. Just remembers your previous visit. It's not too happy to see you return. Ooh, ladies only, and it's quite good. Oh. Whoa. There it is. Taking a nap? Is it sleeping? Looks like it. The man called Luvi doesn't seem to be here either. This might be our chance. Agate, what should we do? First, let me close in by in by myself. With a bit of luck, I can break that gossip with one good swing. Okay, good luck. Agate! Don't worry, short stuff. I'll be fine. Just be ready to back me up if I screw this up. Okay. Be careful. Going in hot. So that's a gospel, huh? He's just hanging out there. Let's do this. Draw my vibranium sword. Ah! Did I get it? <laughs> it pretty directly there. Was I not give a fuck? Oh, it was pissing off. Damn it, old man. Your sword sucks. Ah! Ah, hell, too shallow. Agate! <laughs> Pocket sand! Agate! I cracked it, but it didn't quite break it. See, one more good swing. Give me a hand. Right. Okay. Here we go. Oh, boy. How am I going to go about this? This guy has 25,000 health. Legendary Ancient Dragon has an incredibly tough body, uses ancient magic. Is there like a singular target I can get there? I doesn't look like it. You just gotta fucking do this and hope to God you live. Live to see tomorrow. Give everyone a big boost here. Oh boy. Hi. Okay, he's over here now. Is that good or bad? I don't know. All I know is I'm big mad. I need to charge up. <laughs> Everyone's got earth wall. We're good for at least one hit. Okay. 
He, he, he blew wind on us. Bam! Bam! Ow! <laughs> He's like, munch! Me hungry! Stop that! Ow! Or I punched the shit out of him, Zen. Ah! What did that do? Oh, Zen's way over there now! Smack the fucking... Ugh. I'm out! <laughs> he landed on me! Ah! I was beating the shit out of this thing. Fucking shoot him. Fucking shoot him! Ah! And I'm... Blah! Honestly, right now, he hasn't been too bad. I'm just kind of... We're just kind of whacking him, and he's just kind of whacking us. I wonder if that works on him. No, he resists taunt. Of course he does. What the... Uh oh, now he's doing shit. I feel like in P, it's probably not going to work on this. We're going to try anyway. Nope. There's no, like, block in this game. Damn, I, I used up all, like, all of his fucking EP. Damn, Earth Wall cost a fuck ton in this game. Jesus. They knew how good it was. That's why they made it so expensive now. Pressure explosion. Oh boy. This is gonna hurt a lot, isn't it? Uh, oh yeah. At least Zen could just do this. Uh, damn. Zen's fucking true to Sten lasted him for a long time. Seriously, you did that at like the start of the fight and just knock on away. Ugh. Huh. Over here now. Alright, you dank whore. I'm gonna smack the shit out of you. Uh, ah, 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 oh, wow. Holy goddamn agate. That was insane. That was so much damage. I'm not gonna lie, we're kind of kicking this dude's ass. I really thought this was gonna be like, I thought this was gonna be like him destroying me. Yeah, we're just up damage now, man. Oh, finally wore off. Now put it on again. <laughs> oh, bruh. oh, he's about to do some shit, but I'm about to fucking kill your ass. Oh, I actually don't know if I'll be able to get it before he, he does this. Damn it. Nope. Ah, boom. All right, now you die. Ah! The save of the victory. We earned it. Hell yeah, we did. Oh, big level up. Final break. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. That's so good. His final break is just the best shit ever. For clearing out a huge fucking wave of dudes. And I got the, the next level of that. Do you have an... I've been using that still more than even his other one. I use his other one on bosses. Oh, yes, it's so good. Thunder God Kick? Oh, God. Thunder God? Are you turning to Thunder God Sit here, Zen? Is that why you're so damn powerful? Ah! Oh, come on! I thought we beat it! No man can best it. Just the legend says. Tina, got a flash cast to left? Yeah. Load it. Get ready to give us an opening. Stop, Zen. Keep that thing caught ca for just a second. Huh? Oh shit, it's agate time. Agate finally understands his true potential. He's gonna learn the fucking gets to contend you. Ah! So that's what you mean. Tina, fire it up. Oh, Dodge the dragon. Keep it, we'll keep it still. Okay. Ah! Oh my God, the hell was that? Oh. Now. Punch him in the shins. Oh, blah, 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 blah. oh my God, what the hell was that? Oh, he's coming. He's gonna use the power of gravity. All right, Misha, you looking? This shit's for you. Check this shit out, girl. Yeah! Unfortunately, he also stabbed it right into the dragon's brain, immediately killing him. Uh, we did it! The castle shattered. Agate! 
Ow! Kind of broke my knees doing that. Aggie, you okay? Yeah. Ah, fine. How the fuck Cloud Strife does that shit? Looks like it worked. Yeah! Holy stringers, that was so that was cool! <laughs> ah, oh, very impressive. Heh. <laughs> well, we managed to defeat the dragon, somehow. So I guess that means things are... Impressive. Huh? Th that voice! Where the hell's it coming from? Adios. Oh, it's you. I thought it was, thought it was gonna be Luve. Impressive, children of man. Your kind called me Ragnard. Scion of the great worms who long have dwelt in this land. Ah! No way. It's talking? Cool! My words carry not from tongue or sound, but as an impulse through the void connecting my mind to thine. Though should it please thee, thou mayst utter aloud what flickers in the dawning of thy thoughts. Ah! Uh. Right, all right, whatever, big guy. Well, <laughs> okay, if we can talk, then I just want to be sure. You don't want to, like, eat us or anything anymore, right? I do not. My wrath, which dealt thou didst witness, was invoked by that infernal device. It is well that I am now free from its foul tether. Thou hast my gratitude. Uh you're welcome, Mr. Dragon. <laughs> oh, you're just a big old lovable little dude, aren't you? Now get over there and get you some chin scratches. I would like that. Give me chin scratches, please. Hmm. We don't need your thanks. We didn't come in to set you free. We came in to stop you from destroying everything. Thy concern is full warranted. Through me, a city and a village came to ruin, and also some trees. The will is not my own. But still, the burden of these actions is mine to bear. I cast myself upon thy mercies, as to make amends. Ask of me what boon thou wilt. Give me the power of a god, dragon! <laughs> so it shall be, bruh! <laughs> well, um, this is really all Ouroboros' fault. And some people were hurt, but nobody died, so... As long as you express your sincerity, I'm sure he'll forgive you. I think. <laughs> sincerity. I am uncertain whether this shall make sufficient amends, given the sorrow I have wrought. Children of man, wouldst thou approach me? Come and know me! Okay. Um, sure. <sighs> what now? I lied, I am gonna eat you, bro! <laughs> ah, shit, bro! What the? Woo! Holy! Wow! This is. a septian crystal! Huge! Jam that shit into your orbit! <laughs> Get jacked, girl! This golden light, a Goldia crystal, containing the power of space! Oh my god, like some super space move now. I, I found the space moves to be kind of underwhelming, to be honest. I really have not been making much use of them. It's fun to be like, just be really expensive and they only give like, like a, some, sometimes a relatively more power and other times they don't, the enemies don't give a shit. Scars as such as I have left in this land must be atoned for in kind. Wouldst thou convey my regrets? and recompense to those whose lies I have cast into disarray. Uh, sure, I guess. Not good enough. <laughs> I also want 20 bucks, <laughs> Mr. Dragon. Uh, do you take credit? No! God damn it. <laughs> uh, where did I put my wallet? Fucking shit. Can't be serious. C come on, Agate. Such chastisement is perhaps warranted. True absolution dwells not in the realm that coin, gym, or gift can secure. No, it's not what I meant. Given the size, this one's worth an easy 10 million mira. 10 billion mira! 
Give us one more crystal about a ten thousandth the size or so. Are you kidding me? The exception of a police and criminal activity. Iron braces cost money, bitch. Transportation of goods inside a province usually comes out of about a thousand mira. This wasn't ever a criminal case. So as long as you can pay that, we'll take the job. Okay, hold on, I got one more image. So let me just shit, shit that out for you. I get it. Was it ever... You know, I never thought you could manage to be that roundabout. Be it as thou wilt. I shall purchase of thee thy services. A tiny one for you, red-haired douchebag. All right. Contract accepted, Mr. Ragnod. We'll deliver these to the mayor, Bose, and Ravenue. The matter rests in thy hands, then. Ha 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 ha. Truly, twas a fine attack, little shithead. But a lack of focus afflicted thee in thy battle against the swordsman. Perhaps thou hast sloth off aimless fury to gird thyself in stronger resolve. I don't know what any of that means, bro. What? You remember what happened at the mine? Though this body acted of its own accord, still did my consciousness remain clear. Small daughter and man, thy bravery and courage were worthy of the songs of minstrels and the praise of poets. In now I see the strength and virtue of humanity held fast, despite the passing of the ages. Ah, oh, Mr. Dragon, stop that! Ah, oh, you're more of a tease than I would have guessed, Ragnar. <laughs> Who wants some chin scratches? Me. Who wants some chin scratches? I do. Give them to me now! Hmm. And as for thee... Ah, yes. It is well I know thy set. <laughs> oh, yeah. Thou art the offspring of the Divine Blade. Huh? You don't dare- Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> everybody, literally everybody on the fucking planet knows Estelle's dad better than Estelle. <laughs> Including this mythical dragon that's thousands of years old. Hey, tell him he hasn't returned my calls for months. That motherfucker owes me a hundred quid and I will get paid. Now this is a surprise, you know Cassie's ancient one! <laughs> this shit is so funny. Twenty years passed, ere I took to my slumber. A son of man stood before me. Challenge me, he did, in his folly, claiming he strove to master the way of the blade. Doth he remain hale? Uh, does that mean alive, I guess? Uh, yeah, he's doing fine. He's just being a old shithead. You ever casually mentioned knowing a dragon, though? God, freaking. The old man's a damn lunatic. Oh, that reminds me. Um, Ragnard, sir? May I ask a question? What the fuck do you want? Speak, child. Speak. The ghost was attached to you by the Louvre guy, wasn't it? He said something about an experiment. Do you know what they were trying to do? First, I must dispel the confusion that clouds thy understanding. Twas not the silver swordsman who placed the black device upon my brow. Rather, twas a man in white, possessed of an unsettling power. The professor, his appellation. What? You kidding? At the professor's side, did the swordsman arrive. And in the throes of my ire, the swordsman plied the extent of his art to limit the rack and ruin I wrought. Wait, what? Oh, the swordsman actually tr tr tried to prevent him from getting too crazy? 
Had he not lifted his hand, surely both the city and village would have been seared to ash, not a stone left upon another. Well, that's interesting. No way. The hell's his deal? He had but a single aim, to test his machine and see whether it could subvert a will such as mine, and in doing so, proclaim it worthy. Okay, so it is what I thought. It wasn't necessarily... Like, he wasn't the end game here, right? He's just another experiment. So what are they trying to use it on, like, for real? For real, for real. There's an even ancienter dragon! As a gospel of the Oriole. What? The, the Oriole? Whoa, wait a minute. Do you know what the Shining Ring is? Hmm. Nowhere is it to be found. And yet, it is everywhere. Possessed of infinite power and the sum of all wisdom, yet the harbinger of bottomless despair. And when thou standeth in its presence, man must offer up an answer. Ah! Uh. I'm afraid we don't understand the hell you're saying, Agent One. I regret that I may impart for nothing further regarding the matter unto thee. The ancient oaths prevent me from interfering beyond this extent. You just can't- the ancient oaths prevent you from exposing all of the, the gory details and uh, plot twists right now. Sorry. No aid can I render unto thee, nor can I guard thee from the fangs of this society. All I can do is give you a million, t uh, a ten million mirror. Yeah, I know. It's uh, it's so fucking awful. What? Hey. Farewell, children of man. I'm getting the fuck out of here. In time, you shall have an answer to offer up, and on that day, our paths again shall cross. I pray for the hastening of that day. That hour. I'm out of here. See you bitches in Trails 3. It's getting pretty late. Oh, I hope everyone's okay. Yeah, I suppose the tables got turned on them. If that were to happen, Zeke would have returned to tell us that they're in danger. Are they gonna like shoot the fucking dragon down? By mistake, he flies up there and talks to them too. For now, all we can do is trust in them and wait. I hope so. What hour till nightfall? Once that pass, we get our assault. Captain, ready the man. Sir. That shall not be necessary. <laughs> what the hell was that? That wasn't just me. Where did that sound come from? Huh? It looks like something real big started from below. Oh, shit. What? Hey, yo. Big dragon in the house. Brave batterman of Auslace, hearken to my words. I am Ragnar, the dragon who has slumbered in these lands since time immemorial. My will was wrested from me, turned towards the machinations of the vile ones. But as surely as I speak to thee now, thy bracers have freed me. The full tale is theirs to tell. Till next we meet, I bid you fair skies. Also, my be. Guys, Blast, what are you doing? <laughs> Whoa, it's already out of sight! I need to get a picture! Yeah, uh, you gonna give chase? Can't possibly chase him at that altitude. If the RSI survived, we would suffocate. Oh, uh, Adios. Those brains are gonna have some splaining to do! <laughs> you got some splaining to do, what's that? 
and thus the incident of the dragon that had shaken the Bose region came to a close. Estelle and her group spent a long, long time explaining everything that happened to General Morgan. When they were finally let go, they delivered the Goldie crystals entrusted by Ragnar to Mayor Mabel and Elder Ryzen. Here's a billion fucking dollars! And so, one week later. <gasps> oh my god, it's Ricky. He started a farm. Aww. Gotta bring flowers to Misha. Ah! You. You two. Never thought we'd meet here of all places. What brings you out here? Oh, a little whimsy, I suppose. You're here to make an offering to your sister, correct? Allow me to pardon myself. Hey, hey! I didn't say you were in the way or anything. And those flowers, they yours? Yes, although, if I knew the flowers would have company, I would have picked a different color. I figured there was someone other than me sending some flowers down here every year. Didn't think it was you, though. Who was it? An old man like me can hardly remember the things he's done over the years. Heh, <laughs> says the army general. Eee! I get, can I place my flowers, too? Oh. Yeah, go on. I get used to for a moment of silent prayer. <sighs> Sorry about all this, Tita. Thanks for coming out here with me. Though, I want to give my respects to Misha, too. So, thank you, Agate. Whoa. There, that's enough of that. I should be thanking you. Hey, I promised to let you meet her once once work had calmed down. I guess you did, huh? <laughs> the dragon apparently said as much already, but you certainly changed, Mr. Krosner. You feel much calmer now. Ah, cut that out. Still got a ways to go! But now I'm ready to actually do something about it. Everything really does start here. Hmm. The downsides of the army which you spoke of. Having thought them over again, I believe your argument had some merit. Nah, I was just, you know, blowing off some steam at people who didn't deserve it. It's not like I think the army did anything wrong. No, listen closely now. If there's anything I've learned from this, so we both, we need both Bracers and the army to properly function as a society. The organization and hierarchy of the army is certainly useful. There are times when the Bracers swift actions lead to better results. Hey, look at this, look at this character development. Without both, we could never have stopped this crisis. True enough. It's thanks to your plan that we found the dragon at all. Alan Richard had the right of it in any way. The flow of information since orbits were developed has increased rapidly, to a point where no single group can capably manage it. The only way for us to process it at all is to expand our numbers and allocate the work to progressively fragmented subdivisions. The army sure got that down. You got the border garrison, airship crews, the Royal Guard, even the Intelligence Division. Indeed. It was a necessary evolution to keep pace with the times even if a multitude of issues have fallen through the cracks in the process. For us, there's no turning back. That being said, you basically are free to do as you will. We as the army are limited, but you can, and by all accounts should, protect the people to the utmost of your abilities. Come again? That may cause our two factions to clash every so often. We'll just us often come in support for one another. Whatever the situation may call for, we found a way to compensate for our flaws and keep them from straying down the wrong path. Personally, I wouldn't have it any other way. Heh, <laughs> got, a, got a point there. All right, if it makes you happy, we'll keep buttoning in on your business at every possible chance, General. Hope you're ready. I could say the same to you. Keep in mind not to do anything too reckless. Hee <laughs> hee. Uh, heh. Uh, pardon me for stirring such a peaceful moment. Who is it? <gasps> it's me. You! Oh no! You are. I believe this is the first time we've met, General Morgan. I'm an enforcer of Ouroboros. 
You may call me Leonhardt. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. <laughs> what did you? You! The hell are you doing here? This is a place with a dead rest. There's only one proper thing to do. Or do you intend to reenact our last meeting here in a place like this? I know. Louvet offered silent prayer. Leonard, Louvet the Blade Lord, yes. I too do not wish to disturb the dead. But I have a question I would ask of you. By all means. Earlier, it seemed as though you kept the dragon from causing greater damage than it otherwise would have. And here you are now, offering prayer for the departed. So why? Why would a man such as you bring chaos to our land? What sort of demons in your soul drive you to such acts? The only reason I reined in the dragon's rampage was to conduct a proper experiment. I had no goal beyond that. Surely. General, I simply act as the hand of the society, as it orders. I am bound to the will of society and no other. Do not think to compare yourself to me, you who are bound by force to silence over Hamel. Hamel? What's that place got to do with anything? In any case, Agate Crossner, your resolve is clearly hardened. That means nothing if you don't have the strength to support it. Should you fail to measure up the next time we meet, more than your sword will end up broken. Oh, don't you worry about me. The same goes for you too, pal. Don't think you can just strut around all confident forever. I'll catch up to you real quick. Be ready. <laughs> I look forward to it. Mr. Leonhardt's eyes look so lonely. He's trying to be cold, but he was so sad when he was praying. Hey, General. Hamel was a village just across the border in Erebonia, right? You know the name, do you? Us Ravenu folks occasionally had contact with him before the war. Not anymore, though. Now show why. Why would he bring that name up? I'm afraid I'm not free to speak on the subject. Connects to matters of international security. To what? I can't, however, say this. My suspicions about that man are true. That man, Luve, has stared into the pits of Gehenna with his own two eyes. That's the same... That's the same place that Joshua brought up, right? To be fair, we essentially saw Luve in, like, the flashbacks with Joshua, so it would make sense, right? Hey, there we go. Chapter five, end. That which must one must protect. Cool. That was a good one. That was that was a nice that that chapter for me was uh, a nice break from the the general trend we've been having. I mean, it was still ended up being an experiment to some extent, but I felt like like there was a quite a bit of escalation. Um, and the dragon inclusion was also just interesting because we heard talk about it for literally since the last game. So to finally, like, you know, run into it, encounter it, and talk to it uh, was pretty cool. And now it looks like we're finally getting some insight to who Luve truly is, too, and maybe his connection to Joshua. I wouldn't be surprised if we end up switching to Joshua here maybe uh, very soon. Like, switching back to him again. But actually, it, to be fair, since he stole that ship, we haven't really checked up on him in a while. But yeah, that was probably... I'd say af uh, after the Ren chapter, this, this was probably my favorite chapter uh, so far. Like, my next favorite chapter, I mean. So I hope, I hope they keep it up, because I think that's that's good, right? That that will probably end up being one of my, my crit biggest critiques about this game, is that I think half of the game is very, like, just, it just gets a little too predictable, you know? It isn't, like, terrible or anything, but it is, it did affect the pacing of the game to some extent. And funny enough, I actually think, weirdly enough, that even with the last game essentially being, like, a prologue, it actually did it a little bit better, because much of what you got there was not as easy to predict, you know? It wasn't quite as formulaic, despite having a little bit, just because we are essentially just going from town to town solving problems. But what the problem was and what you had to do was 
not as obvious. I get why it is this way though, right? They wanted to or introduce the Ouroboros members, but it still doesn't really stop it from being, you know, all right, here we go, next dickhead of the month, right? Which is why I like the Ren one, because that one was very unexpected. And this one similarly is, you know, there wasn't really a big, I mean, Luvia, I guess you could say was the focus, but also not really, it was more about the dragon. So, um, but yeah, it does seem like we're like getting some big churning points here. So I'm looking forward to uh, where things go from here. But uh, anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a like and a favorite. It really does help me out. Let me know that uh, my uh, my voicing went okay and that uh, my efforts were not in vain because like my voice is kind of toast actually after this episode here. I'm glad that I'm glad it ended there because I'm like I don't know how much more I can do. Still not totally recovered. And hey, if you haven't already, why not subscribe, become a picky penguin aboard the SLP, where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. But anyway, guys, as always, till next time. Stay! Oh, I can't do that. Stay classy!